Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Stock My Closet. If you haven't subscribed our channel yet, then do hit the subscribe button and also click the bell icon to get the new video notification. और अगर आप हमारे वीडियोस हिंदी में देखना चाहते हैं तो हमारे दूसरे चैनल इजी स्विंग ट्यूटोरियल्स पर देख सकते हैं चैनल का लिंक डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में है नाउ विदाउट फर्दर डू लेट्स गेट इनटू द वीडियो फॉर टुडेस प्रोजेक्ट आई हैव टेकन 2.25 मीटर रेड कॉटन फैब्रिक एंड हाफ मीटर प्लेन ब्लैक कॉटन फैब्रिक दिस इज द मेजरमेंट आई एम यूजिंग यू कैन एडजस्ट इट अकॉर्डिंग टू योर रिक्वायरमेंट आई हैव टेकन टू लेंस फॉर फ्रंट एंड For back, I've cut out required length that is 41 inch for my measurement, and I have added one inch for seam allowance. I've also cut out width of fabric according to the bottom measurement, and I folded the fabric by half in width. Now I'll mark the measurements. For shoulder, take half of shoulder width. In my measurement, shoulder width is 13.5 inch, so half of it is 6.75 inch. Neck width is 3 inch. Mark half inch downwards for shoulder slope and join it to the neck width point. From this point. Mark half of armhole round that is seven inch in my measurement. From this point, mark one inch inwards and join it to the shoulder slope point. Now from the shoulder, mark point at ten point five inch, shoulder to burst point, fourteen inch. Shoulder to waist point and 21 inch shoulder to hip point. I'll just extend these points. Now I'll we'll mark the round measurements. For chest, I'm adding two inch of ease. In my measurement, chest round is 31 inch. 31 plus two is 33, and dividing it by four, I'll get 8.25 inch. For bust, I'm adding three inch of ease. In my measurement, burst round is 32 inch. 32 plus 3 is 35, and dividing it by 4, I'll get 8.75 inch. For waist, I'm adding 2 inch of ease. In my measurement, waist round is 28 inch. 28 plus 2 is 30, and dividing it by 4, I'll get 7.5 inch. For hip, I'm adding 3 inch of ease. In my measurement, hip round is 37 inch. 37 plus 3 is 40, and dividing it by 4, I'll get 10. Join these points. Give slight curve to this pointed shape. Join waist to hip. Now I'll mark the bottom measurement. I'm making straight kurti, and I've taken one inch more than the hip measurement. So this was 10 inch, and I'm taking bottom 11 inch. Now this is your choice. If you want more or less, you can just change it accordingly. Adding one inch for seam allowance. Now I'll draw front and back armhole curve. So marking is complete. Now I'll cut it. Now I'll cut front and back neckline. For back, neck width is same, three inch. Neck depth is six inch, adding half inch for seam allowance. Again, mark neck width point. And join these points. Now I'll draw round shape, and I'll cut it. So this is back neckline. Now I'll cut front neckline. For front neck width is three inch. Neck depth is seven point five inch, adding half inch for seam allowance. Again. 
Again mark neck width point and join these points. From on fold side mark a point at 0.75 inch. From the same point mark 7.5 inch downwards. Again mark point at 0.75 inch. Join these points. Now I'll draw neckline shape and I'll cut it. So I've cut the front neckline and this is how it looks. Now I'll cut the sleeves and for sleeves again I've cut out the required length. In my measurement sleeve length is 16 inch. I've added 1 inch for seam allowance. From the top mark a point at 3.5 inch cap height. From this point mark armhole width which will be chest round divided by 4 minus 1 inch. In my measurement chest round is 32 inch. 32 divided by 4 is 8 and 8 minus 1 is 7. So I'll mark a point at 7 inch. Join these points. Measure this line and divide it into 3 parts. This is around 8 inch. So I'll mark a point at 2.6 inch twice. From this point mark half inch upwards and from this point mark half inch upwards and 0.25 inch downwards. Now I'll draw front and back armhole curve. Mark half of sleeve round. In my measurement sleeve round is 10 inch. So half of it is 5 inch. Join these points with the curve ruler. Adding 1 inch for seam allowance. So this is the marking for sleeve. Now I'll cut it. With this cutting is complete. Now I'll stitch it. Firstly I'll finish front neckline. And for that I have cut out bias tape from the contrast fabric and I am using this cord for cord piping. So I made a stitch, now fold the other edge and again make a stitch on this side. So I made a stitch, now trim the excess fabric. Now I'll attach piping on the neckline. Place wrong side of piping on the right side of the neckline and also mark seam allowance on the neckline. Taking it as guideline just place the piping on the marking and make a stitch as close as you can to the dory. On the corner make small cut on the piping.
on every corner make small cut on the piping so I've attached piping now fold it towards the wrong side and make a stitch on the edge of the neckline So I've attached the piping. Now in this space, I'll add piece of same fabric. Just measure the length and width. Add 0.25 inch or half inch for seam allowance and cut it out. This is on fold. Overlock it from all three sides and place it. And this is how it will look. Now make another stitch to secure this piece. I have pinned up the piece, now I will make a stitch to secure it. So front neckline is ready. I finish back neckline using bias tape. Now place back on the front, right sides together, and stitch shoulder slope on both sides. So I've stitched shoulder slope on both sides. Now I'll attach sleeves. I have finished sleeve round using dory piping as I did for the neckline. To attach sleeve, place the sleeve on the kurti right sides together match center front and back armhole curves and make a stitch so i have attached the sleeve now i'll overlock it similarly i'll attach other sleeve so I have attached sleeves on both sides. Now I'll stitch the side fitting seam starting from the sleeve round till starting point of the slit. Similarly, I'll stitch the other side. Now I'll finish the bottom round of the kurti. Just double fold the seam allowance fabric like this and make a stitch on the inner edge lastly i'll finish the slits drill is same as you did for the bottom round just double fold the seam allowance and make a stitch on the inner edge So kurti is ready, lastly I'll add buttons and with this my straight kurti is ready and this is how it looks and you can see it looks amazing, I just love the color combination. Straight pants are already in trends and you can pair straight kurti with them and also this is perfect pattern for your office wear. 
shoots thanks for watching guys if you try this pattern do share with us on our social media to get featured on our instagram stories and you know the drill like share and subscribe and i'll see you soon till then take care bye bye